Well, good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Joy the Lion. How are you all today? Excellent. Well, today is our last day in New York City and we are going to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. I pretty much hit a wax museum everywhere there is one in New York City. I'm pretty interested to find out what they would feature in this museum, maybe Broadway things, who knows? Let's see. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. A little heads up on Madame Tussauds New York. If you purchase your ticket online, it's discounted for some reason, so buy it online first. It's not too hot. I mean, it's actually pretty nice. Yesterday when you walked outside, I mean, you literally started sweating within two minutes. It was just that bad. And the New York Madame Tussauds is right in Times Square. It's on, uh, what is this, 7th and 42nd Street. So you can see that blue sign going up along there. That's Madame Tussauds. is up there you see that hand kind of like the puppetry hand look at the Harry Potter theater it's kind of interesting there it is right next to Ripley's believe it or not we're not gonna hit Ripley's this trip so Madame Tussauds it is ah it's like space balls as soon as you walk in you don't even have to pay to see Audrey Hepburn at the breakfast at Tiffany's table so lifelike. Wow, she looks really, really similar. Then here we have Frank Sinatra, old blue eyes. Doing it his way. Then this one is Alicia Keys. That also looks just like her. Wow. I think we're in for a treat. The first ones all look at spitting image. Here we have Angelina Jolie. All the way down to the tattoos on her arm. Wow. Yeah, looks just like her. And then here we have Scarlett Johansson. All right, we're officially beginning. Everything that you've seen up till now was all the free stuff. So I guess you're supposed to start with a photo op of your head underneath these party hats for the new year. Then you have Pharrell. I was actually in a Pharrell music video in the planetarium. And Taylor Swift. Gorgeous. And they have a mock subway set up that you can sit on a subway seat and get a really good view of the strip. In case you want that old school New York feel, they've got an actual payphone. There's the backstage. All right, we're starting up here on the Broadway floor. Ryan Gosling. Here's Anne Hathaway. Wow, man, looks just like her, wow. Mother of the year, Kris Jenner. Mother of a lifetime, Kris Jenner. Here we have Brad Pitt. Cliff Booth. And then right over here we have Johnny Depp. Really great. Wow. When they look at you, you really feel like you are being stared at. Wow. Great one. And then there's Kim Kardashian, of course. There's a Broadway bar. Let's see who we have over here. Looks like Sandra Bullock. Yep, definitely Sandra Bullock. And then these are the uh, Twilight guys. And here we have Kate Winslet. Yeah, that's a really great one too. And then this one's Annie Leibovitz, the famous photographer. The woman who took the 
Rolling Stones cover the day John Lennon was assassinated, him laying naked on Yoko in their apartment. I actually met her. I was doing a catering event the day that she was doing the big Vanity Fair cover. Um, two years ago, I met her. Now let's head upstairs. Oh, here we have RuPaul. The actress from Orange is the New Black, I believe. I don't remember her name. Transgender actress. And then Patrick Stewart, Captain Picard. It's amazing, I didn't realize he was such a big deal, but he's in so many wax museums, it's crazy. And this is the area that we've already explored. So let's go see what else this great museum has to offer. I, so far, I haven't seen one that didn't look like the person it was supposed to. Whoa. This right here is a mirror maze. Let's see how we do. All right. Whoa, already. Already lost, already lost. I want out, I want out. Okay, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think this is the way. We're backstage now. Ooh. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Wow, that's pretty cool. They've got a big setup here. Chopsticks. Playing close. There we go. Let's move on. Oh, that's cool. Go stand behind that. Wow, that chandelier. this the other day the actual real location where they first did the shoot this is Maryland at the subway grate over on Lexington and here we have the Duke I'm trying to keep my shadow out of this for you guys and then the rock this is like the old rock man this is like when he was Still wrestling, just starting the movies. Look how small he is there with the people's eyebrow. Ah, Judy Garland, Dorothy. Guess you couldn't expect to come here in New York where she was living and everything to not see her. And then right back here we have Spielberg. Here they have the ET set up if you want to get your photo taken on that. I've done that in Hollywood, so I'm not going to do that today, but it's kind of cool. Here we've got Sister Act, Whoopi Goldberg. And here we have John McClane. And this says this is from Warcraft. I'm a fan of lions, and that's uh, that's as cool as it gets. Now let's move along. Ah, oh, it's Lucy. Vitamin Benjamin. Benjamin. It's a pretty good Lucy. And then the ever great humanitarian Jerry Springer. Guys, done it all. We got some Al Roker. Then Michael Strahan. 
What a career that guy's made for himself after football. Good grief. Anderson Cooper. And then famous New Yorker, Larry King. Here's Jimmy Fallon. Pretty good Jimmy Fallon. And here we have Jane Lynch. And then here they have an exhibit on Marie Tussaud herself. If you ever get a chance, check out her biography. She had a very, very fascinating life. How she came to be and who she was taught by, who she apprenticed. And here we have Salvador Dali. It's a really good one too. And here sitting at the desk, we have Ernest Hemingway, who we have vlogged some of his haunts in Spain, in Madrid. And then right next to him, we have Pablo Picasso. This is awesome. I just saw that they have one of my favorite people in wax figure form, and I've never seen a wax figure of him anywhere. Check this out. Probably my second favorite author of all time, F. Scott Fitzgerald. The Great Gatsby. The Sight of Paradise. That is so cool. You can sit right here on like a couch with him. Look here, we have Albert Einstein. And here they have the Dalai Lama, and the scarf in this case over here is actually blessed by the Dalai Lama. Is this after us just doing an Amelia Earhart vlog from her birthplace? Here she is. God, that looks great. Oh, check all this out. There's Prince William and Kate Middleton, the Royals. Here's John F. Kennedy and Jackie. Notice what she's wearing and what he's wearing. Here we have Queen Elizabeth. Richard Milhouse Nixon. Wow. These all look identical. I mean, spit an image, I think. Ronald Reagan. That is Henry Ford, the auto manufacturer. Of course, Martin Luther King Jr., Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Golda Meir. That one is Helen Keller. That's interesting. Nelson Mandela. And then here we have Maya Angelou. I know why the cage bird sings. Here's W. Look at the look on his face. This desk right in the dead center has the Constitution on it. And right next to the Constitution is this gentleman, Mr. George Washington. Here's Lady Diana. Mahatma Gandhi. I think he's in like almost all of them. Most of the ones I've been in. And then Pope Francis. And then over here, we have Pope John Paul. can't look at Gorbachev without thinking of Naked Gun when Frank Drebin puts him in a headlock and rubs that birthmark off his head. 
no offense Gorbachev, but that's what I always think of. And same, same here, whenever I see him, I think of that scene in Naked Gun in Beirut. Yasser Arafat. Here we have Castro, Fidel Castro. Then here in this section, we have the Obama family. You can even stand up there behind the podium. I don't want a photo like that floating around, people thinking I'm hanging out at the White House or anything. There's Donald Trump over there behind that desk. I don't know, that is not a flattering Trump at all, would you say? All right, let's take the subway, wherever this leads us. What's this, we got a cop down here? Merlin the cop? Does that look familiar? This just looks like some sort of weird sewer setup. What's going on inside this train? I'll take your advice. Slimer! This works out great after our vlog yesterday, right? Well, there's something strange in the neighborhood. something at us. I could feel it. I could feel the mist. Wow, Leslie Jones? That's crazy. I used to know her at the comedy store. I used to see her perform all the time right before she got picked up by Saturday Night Live as a writer. Good for her. Wow. I just, I never would have expected to ever see her in a wax museum. That's good for you, Leslie. That's awesome. That's Kate McKinnon in Ghostbusters. Working on a proton pack. Let's take a look in here. Uh-oh, looks like something's happening. Oh, whoa, look at the elevators. Yeah, I'd say the elevators are out of order. You got a Slimer over there. playing by itself. Must be a ghost. Oh, we found a dead man here. A zombie. Let's see what's going on over here. What's this guy up to? The city's been overtaken. No hot dog vendor is safe. There's the King Kong hand if you want to reenact being taken out of the window like Fay Ray was. He does not look amused. We've got some Jurassicness going on over here. Here we have J. 
Jennifer Lawrence. Yep, Dead Ringer. Oh, Indiana Jones! Awesome! They should have had something from Temple of Doom. I know that wasn't the popular one, but that's the one I like the most. Have those rocks with the three rings around it. Guess we're going into a candy store. Are there any wax figures in here, or is this just to uh, get you to buy candy? No attractions, just to get to you buy candy in the middle. Here we go. Traction continues. Here we have Iron Man. Then here we have Samuel L. Jackson. The guy's been at everything. Good actor. Very, very good actor. I can't even count how many floors we've been on, but this thing is a pretty big wax museum. I'd say it's probably six floors or seven floors. Not really my scene, but okay. Naomi Campbell. Kendall Jenner. There's Heidi Klum. All right, let's move on to the sports. I didn't care about any of that. Flojo, Florence Griffith Joyner. Eli Manning. And here you can have a shootout with Mello. These days you'd probably win it. Pretty cool. Man, that one looks just like him too. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this, the babe. You got the babe. We went to his grave while we were here. That's awesome. Man, that's great. Then on the other side of the plate is Derek Cheater. That is really, really cool. And then back here is Mickey Mantle, who we've also just recently vlogged his childhood home. And here's Serena Williams. Evander Holyfield. Gosh, you ought to, you'd think they'd have Mike Tyson too. Don King. And then, not a fan of this guy at all, but Connor. Connor McGregor. Then they didn't want to leave the Mets out. I mean, they could. there's a lot of Mets they could have done, but they chose to do David Wright. Huh. I would have, I would have kind of guessed, I don't know, Gary Carter or somebody like that, Daryl Strawberry, but. Then over here we have Jumpin' Joe, Joe DiMaggio. 56 game hitting streak, still the record. Former husband to Marilyn Monroe. All right, what do we have here? That's Usher. Oh, that's a good one. That's an old Stevie Wonder. That's great, that is great. Did not expect to see this era of Stevie. And then over here you have Prince. And then over here you have Prince. Pretty good Prince. Then Jimi Hendrix. That's a pretty good Jimi Hendrix too. Yeah, cool. The Wax Museum is extremely busy today. That must be Bruno Mars. And then the man in black, Johnny Cash. That's actually a pretty good Johnny Cash, although it does kind of look like Kurt Russell in a way. Rihanna. Looking good. And then over here we have Elton John. And I believe this one's Lady Gaga. Oh, there we go, Lenny Kravitz. It's pretty good Lenny Kravitz. Wow. 
That is a really cool Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, it looks just like him. Well, my friends, I think that's it. We have seen everything in Madame Tussauds, New York. I hope you all enjoyed this. Let's head out of here. Here you can buy your own Oscar, your own guitar trophy or microphone golden trophy. As I'm walking through the gift shop, look who I ran into. I was kind of surprised I didn't see anything of you in here, but you never know. Good to see you, Charlie. Here they have some famous handprints, Lenny Kravitz. Dan Rather. All right, my friends, I hope you guys enjoyed our trip to New York City. We're taking off in the morning, so we will see you all in Los Angeles tomorrow. Have a great night. Good.